Tired for no reason, men are just sleeping. Exhausted like a collapsed lung, I guess they're tired from breathing. See, instead of having dreams, the visionary is dreaming. He's asleep at the wheel. With my generation as passengers, the head of household is speeding. This lack of sight is misleading. Following the blind seems to be bliss. Men have betrayed the presence of a woman with the kiss of ignorance. Substituted the warmth of her embrace with the chill of prison bars. My issue isn't the problem. It's that we've accepted this as the way things are, coined in terms like survival of the fittest. In the good die young, subconsciously, we are raising physically fit men, but weak-minded sons, too weak to exercise a thought through a pin, but strong enough to work out an emotion through a gun. See, men have become more proficient in the power of violence because they fail to find the strength in their tongues, fight or flight. Instead of working things out, we'd rather run. What makes us think we can successfully build the future when we left our present project undone? And why is it? Instead of being fishes of men, we've become fishes of men. Now, I'm not judging the throwing stones because truth be told, we all have I'm just saying. Take into consideration the next generation. How can we be fruitful and multiply if there's no procreation? I mean, the children are the arrows in an archer's quiver. Who, who will point them in the right direction? Because if you've chosen to live an alternate lifestyle, who will teach your son the original intent of an erection? Or your daughter, the boundaries in which she should give and receive affection? Your presence, patriarch, provides protection, but your absence, your absence permits predators to pervert purpose. Now don't blame Eve. It's your fault eating is not three women service. Caged like lions, the king of the jungle is not the jester in jails. Seized by the courts, you're lucky if you make bail. Have you analyzed your visits? A lot of the few hours a day, seven days a week to the general public tell me. What's the difference between you and the panda bear exhibit? It looks like we're both going extinct. This thing that I can find is pandas. Pandas are caged for the protection. On the other hand, we're incarcerated because we've withdrawn from the Department of Ed and enrolled in the Department of Corrections. And we wonder why they build more jails. Since going to school is out of style, they realize, well, they can make a profit if they increase their sales. You see, recidivism is the new trend. And we've got to wake up and break the cycle, break the complacency of entitlement. Being a male doesn't make you a man. You're not a man unless there's character and integrity behind the title. Wake up, you sleepy giants. It's time you rose from your slumber. Put the alphabets back in your name and get rid of those numbers, my brothers. You need it at home. Get out of that pen with those pigs. Wake up, you brought up the prince. You're the son of a king, your pops. He got you a robe, a pair of shoes, and a ring. Wake up, you cage bird. It's time you lift your voice and sing. Wake up! Wake up! of what's divine, he's detailed. He's made you significant, despite your insignificance. If you embrace being different, you'll wake up to your magnificence. It's not spooky or a mystery. Just check the footprints of men who awoke through history. It's a choice. You can be a dreamer or become your dream's epiphany. Wake up. Ah.